Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is all about audio and do you need to spend loads to get great audio? So a company called Sakani make a little wireless receiver sender, a bit like the Rode Wireless Go, um, but it's only 89 pounds and it comes with a Lavalier mic, comes with adapters to go to your camera or to your phone. And I thought, hey, let's give that a try and see what happens. Right, so we don't have the Lavalier mic plugged in at the moment. As you can see, it's on my uh, top there. I'm just gonna through here. We're next to a road as well. I'm just seeing how well that blocks out the rustling of leaves. The bird flying around up there somewhere. And any sort of soaring noises that you got in the background. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna plug in the Lavalier mic and see, so I'm walking around again. I don't know if that's uh, gonna be better or worse. We'll find out when we get back. Uh, it all worked okay at home with my tests, but that's at home, so what you would expect. All right, a bit more ND. Let's see what they're like now. Soaring and stuff over the road. Unplugged. Right, let's try not to die and get back to the office. Now I need a wireless system because I'm going to be doing the next few videos outdoors and I won't necessarily have the camera next to me. I won't be able to use just a sort of shotgun mic on the top of the camera like I normally do. So I went for this one purely based on the fact that it was almost half the price of the, uh, the, the road one, which I'm not going to use so often that I think I'm going to need to uh, invest heavily. That being said, I think it's pretty decent for the money. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Lavalier mic out and I'm going to go with the microphone that is, I'm not sure if you can see that with the focus, there's actually a microphone just here. So that's the microphone just here. Um, and you can, you could clip that to your, to your top if you wasn't worried about the visual side of it. Um, I think that number one would get in the way for what I would do. And also it's not very wind resistant. When you, as soon as you take that out, like that's gonna sound pretty bad. So, I will always be using the Lavelia mic for my specific use. If we plug it back in, I think we notice that there's a little bit of a volume drop and a little bit of a perhaps top end quality drop. So you may need to just EQ it slightly afterwards, but I think it's pretty decent to be perfectly honest. In terms of the send receive, um, I have walked, that how far away is that? Probably about, it's probably about 30 meters with walls in the way and it still picked up. There were a little bit of crackles and drop offs so I wouldn't necessarily sort of trust it in a situation where you're going to, um, you know, go behind a wall. When, what, but when would you ever do that? If you're connecting to the camera, surely you're connecting to the camera so uh, it's a bit of a a bit of a moot point really but I would definitely um, stress that the manufacturer states don't get things in the way it's uh, you know it's not designed to be sort of a five mile radius or anything like that um, in terms of the battery life battery life was about four hours it says six hours um, but those four hours I was out and about, I was moving um, nearer, further, I was changing settings, etc. So it might last a bit longer, um, but hey, uh, that, that's just the experience that I've had this time. Charging time, it took me about an hour to get from completely flat to full, which I think is pretty decent. So it's definitely going to work for what I need it to do. 
So that's the Sakani Tiny, and I'm going to be using it in the next couple of weeks, so I'll get used to it a bit more, and maybe I'll do a follow-up video of any other pros and cons that I've noticed versus anything else that I've used, but so far I'm actually pretty happy with it, and I will definitely be using it over the next couple of weeks, so quite handy. I will catch you in the next video, and keep learning.